No one wants to admit there's something gone wrong here. Our leaders deny the rumors of some strange force striking us from outer space. Awesome magnetic fields beam through the cosmos, meeting by some joke of fate at one small point in the universe, our city here on Earth. Those who attempted to expose the government cover-up are gone now, dead or disappeared, except for a few friends in the underground. Maybe you're one of us. Maybe you too spread the word, document the horrors, chronicle the nightmares. Maybe one of our stories is yours. Incident number 33. The case of a sad little man whose life is infinitely changed when he and his wife begin to hear strange noises. Robert, where the hell are you? What is it? What's wrong? That damn raccoon has gotten in again. Can't be. I closed the window. That's what you said the last time. But... Get that thing out of my house. Take one of Sam's clubs off the wall just in case. You shout at me. Tell me to shut up. I was upset. That's not part of the deal, Robert. You don't continue to ride this gravy train by getting upset. Sorry, Frida. Your problem is you don't know a good thing when you see it. Frida, this is the first time I've ever so much as... And the last. If you want this marriage of convenience to work, buddy, you'd better make it very convenient for me.
You've got to go. He's ruined me. So he can find out about some stupid drug. He? Dr. Rattan, the head of the Institute. Do I look dangerous to you? Psychotic? No. I'm just pathetic. Ugly and ruined. Psychiatric Institute. The young woman, now grossly deformed, is described as psychotic and extremely dangerous. She was last seen in the Barton Langdon area where the police. That's our area. Dr. Alfred Rattan Maybe it was her that broke the window. That Lisa Doers was being administered radical drug therapy. If it was her, she's gone. Well, did you fix the window? She could crawl back in. When have I had time to fix the window? Well, get down there and fix it. You think I want some psychopath crawling into my house and murdering me in my bed? I want shrimp for lunch. Right. This is wonderful. It's flowing and magical. You're a very talented man. I know I've put you in a bad position. I'm sorry. Is there anybody you can... Like family? No. No one. They asked me that on the form at the institution. The critical question. I was new in town. I wanted to make some extra money. So I volunteered for one of those psychological tests. They saw my answers on the form and then they asked me if I wanted to make some extra money. Of course, I said yes, yes. That was six months ago. Look. I have had fine bones. I was once a beautiful woman. I wore beautiful clothes. <laughs> People listen to me. They believe me. They love me. I believe you. <laughs> I'm listening. You can stay.
Are you are you dressed yet? You look nice. Makes me feel almost human. I know what you mean. I doubt it. I was kept back in school. Strange kid nobody wanted to play with. They finally put me in a special program with a bunch of retards. But I'm not retarded. I just can't cope because of my nerves. Even now, people think I'm different. They don't understand. Maybe you do know how I feel. I'm not hungry anymore. Listen to me. I'm sick. You didn't even bother to check me. All day long, I've been hearing these strange little squeaky, whining noises, like a, a squirrel or a raccoon has gotten into the house. I didn't hear anything. You weren't here. You're walking better. Have you fixed the window yet? Almost. You left the damn thing open again. I'm sure something's gotten into the house. There's nothing down there. Uh. Let me fix you a drink. It'd be good for your cold. There. What's that? You hear anything? You're trying to drive me crazy again, aren't you? Like, like, the, like in that Charles Boyer movie. You're not crazy. You're just tired after last night. You're right. I am tired. Oh. Lie back. I'll, I'll rub your neck. <sighs> so tired. I'm just so frightened. So. Get that. They say that every man marries a woman just like his mother. God knows I sure did. That's sad. You don't love each other at all? My mother? Sure I do. No, I mean your wife. Lisa, you're the first woman that's ever listened to a word I've said. First one that's ever talked to me like one human being to another. I don't think there's a female on earth that would even give me the time of day, including my wife. I'd give you the time of day, but I'm not a woman, am I? Don't talk like that. Yes, you are. And you are a superior human being. No, no, I'm serious. You're generous and talented and feeling. I can't believe how kind you've been to me.
love you. <laughs> I love you, too. I thought all night about running away with you. Let's do it. You won't regret it. I am going to be so beautiful for you. Lisa, I don't know if I could make a living for us. I could learn a living for us. I've always wanted to go into modeling. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Frida's right. Maybe I am too dumb to know a good thing when I see one. Robert, who's the good thing? Her or me? Lisa, keep it down. I hate that woman. If only she'd die and let decent people like us use her money. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. She could put thoughts like that in anybody's head. Robert, you'll come away with me. I know you will. Now is the time to change your life. I can be yours forever, Robert. Forever. Lisa, I... Robert, haven't you got to the store yet? Robert, what are you doing? I better go. pushing things around. I tried to call the police, but the phone is dead. I am going to have a stroke. See? I am going to have a stroke. Calm down. I'll check out the basement. Now cool it. How do you think you're doing? You almost gave my wife a heart attack. Good. She deserves it after what she's done to us. Us? Well, if she were a decent person, I'd be living upstairs in a nice room as your guest instead of down here like some kind of animal in a hole. My God. <laughs> we're almost there, Robert. Now all we have to do is solve your problem, won't we? Frida, and check the phone. It's fine. Maybe you are going crazy, Frida. Crazy. Crazy. Bastard. Come back here!
Dr. Rattan? was given medication. The woman is psychotic. If you know where she is, you have a moral obligation to tell us. I didn't say I knew where she was. I said a friend did. Listen to me. The woman is violent. She's, She's not. She's a sweet, gentle, loving person. That's the drug. It's the only thing that keeps her human. Human? Looking like that? Like an animal? Without it, she is an animal. That's why you've got to tell us where she is. You lying bastard! You've been experimenting on her! You want her back to keep torturing her! What? She murdered her whole family, hacked them to pieces. Don't you read the papers? Haven't you heard of Lisa Dewhurst? Fifty-two division, Sergeant Delaney, please. It's urgent. Wonderful, Robert. And now we solved all our problems. Now I'm all yours, Robert. All yours. Mm -hmm. 